Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to demonstrate how you can make your life easier by setting default shapes in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this always happens uh, when people are dealing with templates that other people have built. Say for example, I've built this template for a PowerPoint presentation and I've decided to use this kind of medium blue color to have a very solid, simple, unified background. Now, when I go up to the Design tab and I go into my Colors area, you'll notice here that I've chosen a set of colors that has that medium blue color, as you can see right here, as the first accent color. And that means that when I go to insert a new shape, let's say I insert a rectangle, for example, and I draw that rectangle, you can see that the rectangle is, by default, the exact same color as the background, because that first accent accent color is the one that it automatically chooses as the fill color for the rectangle. But here's what's great. If I go to the shape fill drop down menu and let's say that I fill this with kind of a, let's say I fill it with white, right? And I put an outline of it dark blue and then I make that outline maybe a little thicker, something like this. <clears throat> and I decide that this is going to be my new type of shape that I draw on all my different slides. Well, if I right click on that shape and I set it as the default shape, now this shape look and feel will be the default shape look and feel for this entire presentation. So I can choose set as default shape and now I'm going to go ahead and delete this, move over to another slide and then just go ahead and insert, uh, let's say a circle. And as you can see, when I draw that circle, it has the same white fill color and the same thick dark blue border around the outside. However, this is only for this presentation. Future presentations where I'm using the same template would not be using the same default shape. So to solve that problem, what you do is you go up to the View tab at the top of the screen and you go into the Slide Master for your presentation. And on basically any slide you want, you can then go to Insert, go to Shapes, insert a you know rectangle or something like that, and then make some choices. Let's say I'll fill it with like a pale blue color and I'll make the outline color kind of a bright blue like this. And uh, yeah, and then maybe make it a little bit thinner, something along those lines. Now, by setting this on the Slide Master, and then in a moment, I'm going to save this, uh, I'll be able to see this in use in future presentations. So I'm on the Slide Master, I right click on this shape, set it as the default shape, right, like that. And now I can go ahead and get rid of this, it's done its job. Close the master view and what you want to do is go to the design tab right up here at the top of the screen, go to your themes and if you don't already have a theme with the look and feel that you've got, go here to save current theme and give it a good name. Now in my case, I've already saved mine as kt2018.thmx so I'm going to save over that one. But if you didn't have a theme in here already, you just go ahead and invent a theme name. So I'm going to uh, save over the top of KT2018, click save, and now that theme file can be applied to future presentations. Let's see it in action. I'll go to file, go down to new, here's a new blank presentation with nothing on it at all. I go over here to the design tab, I use the drop down menu and choose, there it is, KT2018, that theme right there, and now watch as I go to insert and I insert any shape at all, and it follows the exact same guidelines, that pale blue color with a bright blue outline around the outside edge. So by right-clicking on it and setting it as the default shape on the Slide Master, and then saving this theme for reuse, I can get that interaction over and over again on many different presentations. And you can do the exact same thing if I go here to Insert, go here to text box and I make myself a text box. Notice this is the default text box and you can see that it's black and it's a different font from the title font and it's a size that maybe I don't like so I'll change this to white. I'll increase it to 24 point and then I will right click on the text box 
and set it as the default text box. The exact same policies will work here. If I set it as the default text box on this slide, it will impact the rest of the presentation, but no other presentations. And if I do the thing that I did earlier, where I did it on the slide master and then I saved the theme, then I would have a default text box for that theme to be used everywhere. So I choose set as default text box, make myself a new slide, and when I go to insert a text box, you'll see that the text in here, this is white and 24 point. There it is. So it's consistently using that default text box option once I right click on it and set the default text box.